Greetings, Dave Dickinson here from AstroGuys.com, and I thought I would show you guys something interesting that came up in research that kind of got me going down a rabbit hole this week. Next week we have a very close conjunction of Venus and Jupiter, and the discussion came up on how often Venus actually transits or occults Jupiter, meaning when you have Venus actually passing in front. You can never have Jupiter pass in front of Venus, of course, but you can once or twice a century have Venus pass in front of Jupiter. So I did a brief look out through the next millennia, and, and I found 11 such occurrences. Now, that's not all that rare, you know, about once per lifetime. The next one is on November 22nd, 2065, and you might remember I did a video on that real quick. You know, some of us might live to see that one. However, Venus generally isn't large enough in angular size to cover Jupiter. On occasion, about 20% of its orbit, it is large enough when it's closer to Earth, although Jupiter is physically larger. Venus can be apparently larger in the sky. So the further question was posed to me, and I took up the research challenge here over the last few days to find out, are there any occurrences where Venus is actually large enough to occult or fully cover Jupiter when it moves in front of it? And I found these are actually exceedingly rare, rarer than I thought. I thought 20%. I thought I would find one maybe running out to the next millennium, you know, into the 3000 ADs or so. I ran a simulation. I first started running a simulation on a Cult 4.1 software on my laptop in its free time. And it ran out for about 9,000 years. And I only found one semi-close one in 4517, July 14th, 4517 AD, and it, it didn't quite cover it. Venus was, phys was apparently large enough to cover it, but it just wasn't at the right position. And running back another 9,000 years, I found one very, very close on 62, on May 21st, 62, 622 BC. Now I ran these simulations, I'm gonna put them both up on YouTube here just to show you what they look like, but apparently there's probably some larger resonance cycle going on that makes this even rarer. And yes, I looked across the surface of the Earth because Venus moves a little bit by parallax if you're viewing from the North or South Pole. I thought if I played with the Earth location a little bit, I did these in Stellarium Starry Night. And incidentally, when you run things back more than about five or 6,000 years, there's other little gravitational effects that aren't accounted for in planetarium software. I noticed that, that there were getting to be differences between a cult 4.0, Stellarium, and Starry Night by a few minutes. But I think the predictions going back and forth about say two or 3,000 years are pretty sound, but this is kind of interesting. So enjoy these. <laughs> 